Welcome back to Diary of a Speed Reader. Today's book is Virus of the Mind by Richard Brody, and I'm going to give it five stars. Now, all this week we've been talking about AI and data, and while this book is slightly off topic, it's kind of necessary to really appreciate one of the books I'm going to be reviewing pretty soon, Mind F Asterisk CK by Cambridge Analytica. This book talks about memes and it's written in 1996, but it is still as relevant today as it ever was. And I'm gonna give you my three takeaways from the book. But before we get into that, if you're watching on Instagram, it would be awesome for you to go to my YouTube station, Diary of a Steed Reader, and subscribe there. If you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying this and also um, you will get updates when a new episode is uploaded. Now, let's get into why this book is so great. The first thing is that this is a very early definition of the meme, which he is describing as a cultural unit, a point of data if you want to think of it from that perspective. And he's describing it before Nyan Cat, before all the Kardashians, before pretty much anything. 1996 does in fact predate Instagram. It even predates Facebook for that matter. But what's intriguing about how he's describing it is at the time he's interested in understanding how do we shift society from point a thinking to where we are now at that time in 1996 he's looking for units of measure and memes is it now the second thing is this book does lay out what's called the evolution of the meme but in a lot of ways you could almost call it the building blocks of a meme and in that regard, he uh, describes it, you know, from the cellular level up to, you know, full big animal that has sentient and thinking. He then compares it to computer science where you have like, you know, binary and you're moving your way up. But the meme as well through culture, what then grows into a bigger concept of how people think, how society thinks, et cetera. This is a really fascinating chart and I've had people misunderstand this even within computer science and missing AI and machine learning and knowing the difference there. This chart actually lays it out really well in 1996. Last thing is really the power of the meme and there's kind of two vectors that I would lay out here. The first one really has to do with the idea that you can in fact slowly but surely shift society and he describes you know, the start of the United States States of America article uh, one section nine that says no taxation. In fact, we threw all that tea into the Boston Harbor because we did not want to be taxed as a nation. And then you've got the Civil War and you've got uh, the 16th Amendment that allows for taxation. And then you've got where we are now. What he's saying is that over that entire course of getting people comfortable with taxation, there were a whole series of memes. He further describes very clearly that memes can and absolutely are passed from generation to generation and that to undo these memes is very difficult. They become the thing that you just believe is truth, that you believe is the way that it is, but in fact, you only believe that because it was passed down. And the proof of that really has to do when you move from one isolationist country to another that then is like, why do these people do this? This is so weird. This is so not normal. This is so not how it is, as they like to put it. Now, this is a great book because it's not highly technical in the computer science or mathy sense. It definitely has elements of data, and there are certainly so many ways that you can apply this, no matter what it is you decide to do in your career, or if you're just trying to be smart about some of the different things that keep coming up and why they're so uh, addictive. Speed reading stats, this book was 234 pages. It took me about 50 minutes to read. If you'd like to learn more about speed reading, please leave your comments below. I wanna thank James for this book. I really appreciate the recommendation. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Stay healthy.